everyone and for anyone who's here for the first time, my name is B and we talk about all sorts of topics on here, but usually I try to stay in my safe zone, not to bring up topics that would make me uncomfortable as per se, and then I thought about it and I was like, why does this make me uncomfortable? I get a period, you get a period, your mom does, Beyonce does, we can talk about this ish. Today I actually collaborated with this new and innovative app called Natural Cycles to tackle this issue. Definitely download the Natural Cycles app on your phone and I will explain to you how it works later because it's pretty useful. Here in the UK I've noticed people are so open about talking about sex and periods and all kinds of things that in Latvian culture we normally just keep to ourselves and I realized that I never even talk about it with my parents. All of that I kind of like learned by myself because it wasn't really that talked about or my mom just really didn't want me to grow up. Either one of those. <laughs> if any of you are younger or if any of you just want to know some fun hacks or fun tricks that I've learned while doing my research that you can do while you're on your period, then keep watching this. So let's start with the hack or the topic number one and that topic is birth control or contraception, whatever you want to call it. So many of my friends are on the pill or have a quill inserted or an IUD. Contraception is obviously really good for regulating your period to make your cycle more stable and I know one of my friends uses the plaster things to regulate her hormone levels but since I'm a bit of a hippie I don't really believe in using all kinds of chemicals in order to control my inner bodily functions. I think it should just happen on its own and naturally so I was so happy to find out about this because I've heard so many frightening things about using different contraceptive methods and the different side effects they have that include weight gain and headaches and nausea and all of these other things that thank goodness I don't have and I don't really want for them to appear. So basically what Natural Cycles is, it's a clinically approved program that does not have any intervention in your life of how not to get pregnant. As easy as that. And the best part is it does not have a single side effect to it. And I have been using this app for around a month now. So you go on the app Natural Cycles and within it, so the us today and it gives you a month by month kind of schedule of your entire cycle. You have some days when you are prone to being pregnant or your days when you're ovulating and the days of ovulation are the days when you actually can get pregnant. So for me if you look at my monthly stats you can see that there's some red days. So today for example it says use protection which means that I can't run off and have sex without a condom and luckily my plan for today's evening is to write my dissertation as it is my plan for the next three weeks. <laughs> you enter all the data and the way the app can be so sure about whether you will or will not get pregnant is by using a thermometer. The thermometer looks like this. It says a really lovely good morning on it. The difference between this and all of your normal thermometers is that this is a basal one with two decimals behind the dot. So it would say your temperature is, for example, 36.52 or something. And the temperatures change very, very slightly and they reflect your hormone levels in your body and you need to measure right when you wake up. So you will open your eyes, your alarm rings. The first thing you do is you grab the thermometer, put it under your tongue and measure your temperature. And I've been doing it for the past past three weeks and it's been showing me a really good schedule of when I'm ovulating and since I had a period not that long ago obviously I'm now within ovulation. So the more consistent you are with actually measuring your temperature decimal to decimal every single day, the less red days you have the more sexual freedom you have if that is something you're interested in. Obviously I'm not a scientist so it's hard for me to get into the scientific effects of this but I can read it out that it has a unique algorithm that takes your temperature and many factors like sperm survival, temperature fluctuations, cycle regularities and other things into account. I'm just really glad that I found out about this because as someone who's getting older and older you know Things happen and you want to be safe and you want to be sure. Still, it doesn't mean that you can go around and have sex without protection because even though this tells you when you're ovulating and when you're not, you can still get STDs and things like that. So still use protection always. I feel like a mom saying this. And honestly, inventions like these just make me really, really happy that so much more effort is put into research, into the female body and studying reproductive and sexual health. So I'm definitely urging you guys to support the program as well. This might be so much better for your body without messing up any of its functions and you know putting any chemicals in it because going the natural way is usually always better. After that let's move on to the hack number two and this is actually something that I started using around a year and a half ago and that is called a menstrual cup and I'm sure you've heard of these before but yes this is what I generally use for my period and this thing you write here obviously 
fully washed, fully clean is the menstrual cup that I use. This is a silicone cup that you insert during your period. It collects the blood and then you just simply take it out, wash it out, put it in again. It's a really simple process. You have to do it only about like twice or three times a day depending on how heavy your period is. But it has saved me so much money from buying tampons and buying pads. They are so wasteful. As well as there's been so much research about that tampons actually contain really dangerous, possibly even carcinogenic chemicals. This just feels so much cleaner and safer and you can use it for years and years and years. And this little thing cost me only about 15 pounds. Although you have to get used to it because sometimes it does leak if you insert it a bit incorrectly, but you will you will get the hang of it. <laughs> Most girls, I think, would get emergencies when it comes to that time of the month, but this is actually something that my grandma taught me and I had no idea that this exists. But if you stain your underwear with blood, then the easiest way to actually clean it out is by rubbing toothpaste on it. So you would just use a toothbrush, like an old one, obviously, one that you don't use for your teeth, and like scrub, like really work the toothpaste into the stain, let it dry, and then wash it all off and the blood stain will be gone. And I've tried it out it works really really well and yeah thank you grandma for that hack things i would really recommend having on you at that time of the month or nearing that time of the month and obviously first of all it's a little emergency kit of everything you would need since this little thing just comes in a tiny little red pouch which is actually quite cute no one would ever have any idea what it is and I just like pop it in my bag and just in case I have it with me. During your period, it's also good to have spare underwear just in case anything leaks or happens. Try wear longer clothes. This is kind of like fashion advice at the same time. I'm a massive fan of wearing really long vests that come like up to like the middle of my calves and it's such a good way to cover up the back of your jeans or your skirt in case anything happens or just have some kind of a jumper or a cardigan or a track jacket that you can tie around your waist to cover it up. I mean it's not gonna save you from the problem but it's gonna save you from everyone seeing the problem. <laughs> Another tip that might sound a bit wacky but I actually do that quite a lot in summer and it genuinely does help and that is putting on your swimsuit bottoms instead of normal underwear because your cotton underwear it can get stained much easier. It's much harder to clean off but because swimsuits are meant to be water resistant it's they're so easy to clean if anything happens and sometimes they're even more comfortable than your real underwear so try doing that it might help. A hack that I would recommend for diet is instead of indulging into all of these crappy foods try to eat as healthy as you can because so many of those foods that are unnatural and really chemically and really oily they can make your skin break out even more um, they can make you bloated which is obviously really bad if you already have difficult periods for me honestly since I have become vegan which was about three years ago I haven't had a single cramp I mean I know this sounds like an infomercial but it genuinely has been like that I don't have cramps ever I don't really ever have period pains all I have is bloating but I think that's kind of a given and you can't really avoid that much. Eat a lot of leafy greens, eat a lot of vitamin rich foods, try to have more like brown rice and fruit and different vegetables in your diet because that's just gonna help your body so much to deal with it faster with less pain and just try to avoid all kinds of processed foods. Stay hydrated, drink tons and tons and tons of water. It actually might help your period finish faster. So that was it for this video and I actually feel really good about giving some big sister advice to some of my younger viewers and I hope you guys found this helpful and maybe learned something that you didn't know before like for example the grandma toothpaste hack. I had no idea. <laughs> and also definitely download the Natural Cycles app on your phone. I love every single one of you guys and if you have any more hacks or any questions then make sure to leave them in the comments down below or just tell me whatever like how's your day been going like how's life I'm, I'm a bit stressed right now because I need to hand in my dissertation my bachelor's dissertation like the final thing in two and a half weeks and I feel like I'm just gonna I like what is sleep I have forgotten what that is have a beautiful day everyone and I will see you in my next video wish you luck Bye!